I've been playing around with snake skin. I've got a couple ideas I thought I'd share with you. So let's do some nails together. I'm sure there's lots of different ways to do snake skin, but I'm always thinking of a way to do it quickly at the end of an appointment or if you don't have a lot of time or a lot of skill. I mean, there are artists that can paint a snake skin and it looks exactly like it, but it can take hours to do that. So I'm always trying to think of quick ways that we can do it at the nail table. So I've got a couple ideas and I'm, I played with it a little bit, but I wanted to share with you and show you what I came up with. So one way is to have it sort of 3D-ish and the other one is kind of flat. So let's see. I'm going to do it on some tips and then I'm going to do whatever we decide on the whole hand. Okay, so first it really starts with color, doesn't it? So I've got my sheer collection and it has got some beautiful earth tone shades that I think we can work with. So I'm not necessarily going to use them all, but we're going to play with them all. Snakes have lots of different colors. I actually looked it up. They're like blue ranges, mauve, purple. Like I would always think of just more earth tones. There's even green in there and stuff. So black is also a color, but I found it a little harsh. So I'm going to probably avoid the black. Okay, I'm going to start with this really beautiful earth amber tone. It's called Sheer Honey. You know, I'm going to mix a little green in there. Now, if you don't want to mix your brush colors, now I'm, I can get really messy when I'm working and I don't really worry about that. And I will kind of do this. <laughs> but if you do have a problem with it, just get a little towel and wipe your brush clean so you don't put it back into the bottle. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the dark brown in there. This is called sheer bronze. Ooh, ooh. That's very snake color. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that more of it, I think. Okay, that's really cool. I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to cure that. Let's do a couple more while we're waiting. Let's do one that's just plain. And let's just nuke that one. And let's do one. I didn't really play around with these kind of mauve tones, but I saw some snakes did actually have this mauve tone, to my surprise. Let's do a bit of mixing. Let's just nuke those three. Let's work with those colors to see what we come up with. You put it right back in the bottle, you might have some color. Oh yeah, no, mix. I don't really worry about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should, and if you're gonna get picky about it, do worry about it. Okay, so let's take this one. This is the plain sheer honey. I'm gonna get my product called Blossom. Now Blossom is when you paint it on and the color of what you put on top spreads. And that's gonna give us this effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little drop of my Blossom right there on my mat. And I'm gonna paint, let's tie the green over top, not super heavy. And then I'm gonna take the Blossom and put it in this space here in sort of a snakeskin pattern. Ooh. See, now it's sort of spreading, getting sort of irregular shapes. That's looking really cool. That does look really cool, doesn't it? I like it. Okay, so once it starts to spread, you sort of decide how far you want it to do that. I'm gonna nuke it right now because I, I like that look. Okay, so the technique is really cool. Now it just really comes down to what color you're going to do. So this color here, I need to put something that's gonna pop on top of it. Let's, I don't know what this is gonna look like. Let's try the blue, like a thin layer of blue and see if that works. 
mean, sometimes you try something and it just turns out ugly. I'm just gonna put a doll up there again. But you never know until you try it, right? It's better to try it and practice a little bit before than to put them all on a nail and you do 10 of what you don't like. This one's a little more subtle. So you wanna have a, a lighter color underneath with a stronger over top. You wanna have a bit of a contrast in the color. That's cool too, that's very subtle, but that's pretty cool. What do you think, Caraman? I like it a lot. That's very creepy yeah, cool. It looks really, uh, it's got a real depth to it. Yeah, it's very reptilian, isn't it? Yes. I like it. Slee stack. Oh, that's going back. Look at that. Okay, this one's all nuked up and, and done now. Isn't that neat? Really good. I really like that a lot. It's so simple. So mm -hmm. that's something really easy you can do at the end of an appointment to give a sort of snake skin look. Like I say, there are some very talented artists that can actually take a snake skin and paint it on the nail to make it look so real. But it takes a lot of time and a lot of skill, and I don't have time to invest in that right now. But this gives me a very good snake skin feel. It's very cool. Okay, let's see how this guy turned out. Ooh, I like the depth in this one. Yeah. I think this one's better, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Although I like the bright green too. They're really good. Yeah, but you know, you could even do a set where you do different types. It doesn't have to be exactly the same on every single nail. No, it's true. It could just be different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one really cool idea. Okay, we have to decide now between those and the next thing I'm going to do. Okay, so... The next one I'm gonna do is, let's get a really nice tone like we just did. Let's paint a really nice tone. And I did like mixing those colors together, didn't I? So let's get a little bit of this on there. A Little bit of this in here. And I think I put a little bit of mauve in that one, didn't I? see it in there. You know what? Let's, oh, the green. Let's add a little green. The green definitely is very snake skinny tone color, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I will wipe my brush so I don't drive cameraman crazy. Okay, I like that. I'm going to cure that. So I've got a little dish here of water and I put a little dish soap. I did try it the other day with hand soap and I think it's got too much oils and stuff in it. So I'm using dish soap and I think it'll be bubblier. Not such tiny bubbles. I don't want tiny bubbles. I like some of the big bubbles it creates. So when you're mixing it about, try to generate some of those big bubbles. So I find if you have it more near the surface, you can generate some of those big bubbles. I'm sure if I had a straw, <laughs> And I just blew into it, I'd probably get some big, big bubbles too. Maybe too big, really. Okay, oopsie, splashing all over the table. Okay, I hope you can see those. So you do need the 3D texture, that's what creates a snake skin look. So we gotta put a layer of your clear top coat on top. So paint a nice, you don't wanna do it too thin because you do want that texture. So make sure you got a pretty good coat on there. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Make sure there's a pretty good coat of top coat on there. Now I'm gonna scoop some of the bubbles. Like I say, I do like the big bubbles on top of there. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, it popped. Once you get the bubbles on there that you want, nuke it. So then when you take it out of the light, just dab off the rest of the bubbles and then it will give you your snake skin texture. Okay, so this, I like the texture of the bubbles. I got some big bubbles here, I love that. But the color underneath is actually taking away from the 
from looking at the bubbles. So if it was a softer texture underneath, probably more like one of these two, a little more blended, I think. I think it would be more effective if it had the color of this underneath as opposed to this strong one here. And you'd be able to see the texture of the snakeskin. But I do love that snakeskin effect. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of these so we can have a nice picture in the end to see what it looks like. So what I've learned here is to make them blend and soft colors, but stick with those earth tone. I like the earth tone colors. And then I do love this. You don't have to even have that. They're two very different. But I think I might do one accent nail with this. And I'll do the rest. Like, But I'm going to make them all different, different colors and stuff. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so now I'm ready for the top coat. Now, I always have this debate, especially when I'm talking about these kinds of nails. Matte or shiny? What do you think, Caraman? I'm leaning toward matte. Well, you know what? It looks shiny right now. Like you wouldn't even well, have to put a coat on Well, that's because it's, I mean, it's a little bumpy too. It's not the finished top coat. I haven't put it on yet. Oh, uh, okay. But this is giving you an idea of the shiny. It'll just be less bumpy because you've still got the texture of the, the blossom. Well, I'm kind of so, like a broken record here. I love it when it's shiny and glossy, but maybe okay. matte is better. Well, let's do them both. I'll do the photographs so you can see the top coat with the shiny. Okay. And then we'll do the mat right now, and then we'll show both of the photos. Okay? Great, let's okay. do it. Let's do the mat. Personally, I like the matte. Let's take a look at the photos. Okay, so these are my, what do you call it, like a worksheet? That's my practice fingers. It was able to capture, remember I wanted to do that between these two, and I feel like I did do that. I did capture those color tones between the two. This one I didn't like, remember, because I thought it was kind of patchy, so I redid it. I did it properly on the thumb. So this is how it turned out when I blended it better together. You can see the sort of the snakeskin effect with the bigger holes on it than you could when it's got too many colors underneath. I do like the softer color one better. So that is the textured one. Cool. Okay. Well, I do kind of like also the longer, the more surface you have for a nail art, of course, the more you can present your nail art. So it's different when you do it on a shorter one. And this one, I do have less surface, but I think they turned out pretty cute. I actually really like them. Yeah, they look great. So do you still like the, the shiny caramel? I see the appeal of the matte now. You do, eh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I do. really like it. To me, it brings out the detail more. Because mm -hmm. it is very subtle. Yeah, you get to see into it more than you can with so much reflections. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Glossy. Yeah. Okay, thanks for joining me. That was so much fun. Thanks for joining me with this nail art tutorial.